Now we have Pro Tools, um, ARA and Revoice working together, that, that whole situation is now just gone. Hey guys, I'm Andy, I'm one of the studio managers here at British Grove, uh, here to take you on a tour of Studio One with uh, Synchro Arts, so uh, come with me. Uh, so this is our main live space here in Studio One. As you see, it's quite a big room, uh, but it's incredibly versatile. We've got uh, acoustic panelling all around the top that can be changed and manipulated uh, depending on the kind of session that we've got in. All of the booths that you can see around here are isolation booths. And what's amazing about them is they can all fold away behind these walls. This studio for vocalists is, is lovely, whether they're recording in the booth or in this space. Uh, so yeah, this is Studio One's control room. Uh, here we have our 96 channel Neve console. Uh, it's an 88R. Personally, on a session, I like to keep things moving as quickly as possible. So having the real estate on a console allows the producers or the composers time to just focus on their art as opposed to worrying about me patching leads in. My name is Jason Elliott. I'm co-studio manager and also a studio engineer here at British Grove Studios. One thing I'm really proud of is I did a lot of work on the Ellie Golding record, Brightest Blue, vocal engineer on the, most of the A side. But so it was Vocaline that I started using, just for getting doubles, triples and stacks to be tighter with the lead vocal until Probably one of the Ellie projects, I was kind of hoping to find something where I could batch process stuff. So I got Revoice Pro purely for that reason at, at first. I take a listen and make a decision about how I want to process the vocals. Um, and almost always I'll be taking it into Revoice Pro. You could set tolerances and create process groups. So I can do, I can tweak to my heart's content. I can be like, right, I'm just going to make it a tiny bit more loose. Um, I don't want the pitch matching to be quite as tight as it is. And you can also do that with level. And all of these things have like individual parameters that you can tweak infinitely, really, until you get the best sounding thing for that section of music. But what's amazing is every time I move this, the cogwheel is turning, it's updating in Revoice Pro, and then it already exists in Pro Tools. Um, and yeah, it's just, so amazingly fast. I've been wanting it for so, so long. It's just the way to use it before was you had to, it was a process to get it in. So it was an audio suite link plugin. I'd transfer them all in manually to Revoice and then do my processing and transfer them all back out. So it was a very much like turn-based process. Uh, sometimes that meant that things, although it was very flexible when it was in Revoice, when you were coming out, you know, you were kind of committing at that point. Whereas now with the beauty of ARA, that whole situation is now just gone. As soon as you engage Revoice Pro ARA in Pro Tools, it, it, it exists in both. It's like natively in the same thing. So any any tweaks you're then making in Revoice are already in Pro Tools. And it's just such a, it's just a time saver. And also, you know, things like that, any way you can make the process simpler means you can be more creative. I'm super excited to make it a part of my everyday workflow. Speeds up everything massively and that means I can spend time concentrating on mixing and being creative 